Hello, it is my pleasure to introduce an alumnus. Can you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, I think first of all, uh, I would like to uh, express my, I think, no, gratitude and happiness to be back here at IHE after eight years. My name is Yasu uh, I had a PhD in land and water development in 2005 uh, from IHE. And you have returned to your country, that is Ethiopia. Yeah. Tell us, how was to return after the PhD studies? Yeah, uh, well, uh, the most important thing is that I returned back home with a good capacity to make a difference in, in my country. Uh, Ethiopia, as you know, is a food hunger stricken country. Ethiopia is actually a very water potential country, but uh, respect of that potential, we're not able to make use of actually our, our resources. So people working in water and land development were actually to be very crucial in uh, the food security strategies of the country. So once I go back home with the skills that I developed in IHE, in land and water development, primarily I assumed an important position in my university. Uh, that is actually to be the director of or the dean of the School of Graduate Studies because these graduate programs were meant actually to create practical oriented postgraduate students that will make a difference in the land and water development uh, uh, efforts of Ethiopia. Uh, of course, later, since I, I, I used to come actually a senior uh, lecturer and researcher, I started to focus more on uh, writing of proposals and uh, research uh, uh, projects uh, which are both nationally funded and internationally funded. So I am a member as well as coordinator of few projects which are funded by like the Western countries, including NIFIC in the Netherlands and even uh, the European Commission. So we are actually doing very well in that respect in uh, doing action-oriented researches that will make a difference in the proper development and management of irrigation projects in Ethiopia. You have been back uh, last week, two weeks uh, to Nesquai Chi to follow a show course. Can you tell us something about the course and how you will implement the knowledge of that course? Uh, yeah. Uh, first of all, I think we have, uh, since we are an Unmulai, I think we had the opportunity to work closely both with IHE and with its staff members. So in this process, we come to work together with UNESCO IHE in different projects, research projects, development projects. So there is, for example, at the moment, the Space Irrigation Network of Ethiopia hosted in Ma'ala University. Then like three weeks back, we coordinated or we organized uh, space irrigation uh, under drought uh, condition training for Ethiopian experts for experts who are involved in the development and management of space irrigation projects. So that training was delivered in conjunction with UNESCO IHE. So we were resource persons, but we have also the expertise of UNESCO IHE contributing to it. Then it was out of that uh, involvement of us, ours, in the uh, curriculum development and the delivery of short courses in Ethiopia that uh, uh, we had this chance. I had this chance particularly to come, to come here. I came here uh, for two purposes. One, to get the expertise of or the, the, the up-to-date technologies of space irrigation from UNESCO IHE, and at the same time to, to share my experiences in Ethiopia of space irrigation, and also, of course, to tap experiences from participants of other countries like Pakistan, Yemen, and Sudan. So ultimately, I think it was, I would say, a mind-blowing two week because it gave me the opportunity to see space irrigation beyond Ethiopia and, of course, to be able to tap what knowledge are available outside so that they could be implemented in our situation to get actually an improved development and management of systems and, of course, uh, solve the uh, livelihood or improve the livelihood of the vulnerables. Great experience. Do you want to add something else? What is UNESCO IHE when you come yes. back? <laughs> UNESCO IHE, in short, for me, is 
home away from home, to be very honest, because I had still a close contact with my supervisor. I still had actually a close contact with my friends. And uh, what I really wanted to say is that I think UNESCO IHE as a leading institution in water, both education, development, and the research, I think it needs to, to really reach us out and then, let's say, organize us. For example, in Ethiopia, I mean, there are so many alumni, but we are not yet actually very well organized. Well, there are initiatives, but I hope UNESCO IHE could also take it a step further. But what I'm really very happy is that we are really doing very well when it comes to cooperation between our university, where I'm working, and uh, uh, this uh, UNESCO IHA. Previously, for example, we had a cooperation of uh, uh, capacity building, that is an uh, integrated river basin management uh, capacity building project, the NDTP 2005 project funded by NUFIT. So it, the, the, it was coordinated by IHA, and it involved eight universities. Then out of that cooperation came second phase. And that second phase was actually to develop the capacity of the staff members of these eight Ethiopian universities, specifically in small-scale irrigation. Because the Dutch government believed that Ethiopia could make a difference if its citizens work very hard on small-scale irrigation. Now, we have submitted a proposal to, to NUFIC for capacity building in small scale irrigation. And of course, this is a Nietzsche initiative. And in that line, we are currently working with UNESCO IHE. So being an alumni of UNESCO IHE, I think has given us the opportunity to work together. And beyond that, I here also come to be a guest lecturer on, on, on the other side. So I just had given a, a three day course here. So I think overall, the initiatives are on the table. Our contacts are going on still. So I believe then with this, most probably the sky will be the limit uh, for our cooperation. Thank you very much. Welcome. And our best wishes to you. Thank you very much.